Hey guys, it's Maxi, and in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the thought process on how to carry and ranked on Astra. If you guys haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below on what agent you guys want to see next. Thank you. The game that we're going to be breaking down today is a game on split where I go nuclear. We 13-0 them with me leading the pack with a match MVP and a perfect tracker score of 1000 while going 22-4 with an ACS of 427. For my pistol buy, I buy a ghost and 3 stars. I like anything with a silencer on it because if I'm spamming through smokes, I don't want the tracers giving me away. This round, I'm staying away from anywhere too overexposed because since they have a breach, I'm expecting a fast pace. I want somewhere secure where I can smoke quick and safely. The second I hear activity, I smoke really fast and as you can see, I smoke ramp also. That's because I want to deny as much map control as possible. It ends up working in my favor because it raised nated heaven, so that tells me that they tried working. With ramp being smoked, it allows me to rotate towards heaven and look for the raise without being overexposed to the rest of the team on ramp. After finding the raise, my Rain and Cypher are finding a war on site, so I instantly go through the smoke to help them out. Odds are they have the most attention, so I get a free pick. One enemy remaining. Spike down A. <laughs> also forgot to mention that I place a star right here in the entrance of a main, with the purpose of using it as a suck to stall for the push. Notice that I don't use it until I see that they have contact on minimap, and that's because if I do it too early, they can just wait it out. Which isn't entirely bad, but if you hit it at the right time, it can amount to easy picks. Since we just won pistol round, that means that they're going to be broke. Once I got a phoenix on the team, this round I'm going to be leaning towards B and I place a star right here in the entrance with a star right behind it to completely deny all of B main. This is because not only do I want to deny map control, I want to deny any and all chance of them getting the orbs to set themselves up for future rounds. This is a trademark. I would just dink to me for nothing. I saw the KJ turret pointed at me during one of my jiggle peaks, but then I see her towards the market on minimap, so I push because I'm hoping nobody is dorky enough to hold the KJ turret. I continue pushing all the way for the flank just to help my teammates towards the middle until I get a free one. Since I personally love the idea of being unpredictable, this round I go towards middle. This map can be broken down into three lanes, and usually controller mains stick towards anchoring one side, which isn't bad at all by the way. It only sucks once the rest of your team isn't carrying their weight. When that happens, I turn into a nomad and just float around and I go off my predictions and hold shit down myself. I'm smoking this year. I'm screwing vision! Be mean. Two or three. Concealment! Let me know when you need a sec. Yeah. It should have right made, made it past my thing. They right stunned to the guy so he can peek. Up, up heaven, up heaven. Here, I know you can see me just chilling. I could have panicked and tried my hardest to smoke and help the cipher in heaven because I'm scared of getting yelled at like the rest of you MFs. But me, personally, I like getting yelled at. I also stay put because even though they're taking mail control, a lot of people love lurking or holding for the rotate kills. So I bide my time holding until I finally work my way into peeking and catch a great timing on the breach. After I get that pick on the brimstone, the enemy team has a choice. To continue pushing towards B main and trying to take heaven, or to double back and reset and try to trade me. Since I only have a specter, odds really aren't in my favor here. So I toss a smoke and pull it back to fake covering me crossing over while staying committed to the off angle. After some time, they walk straight into my crosser and I get the easiest picks of my life, all thanks to my brain. This round, I'm pretty much doing the same exact thing that I did on pistol round. The breach stun, paired with a flying raise, tells me that they're trying to fight for ramp, so I smoke it, and this time I fight sooner because I have a cypher trip to play off of. Oh, oh, side of ramp. Blocking vision. I'm smoking. Ready. Concealment. Yo, why are we got right Oh, my bad, my bad. I was going to get can you help me, please? My bad, I was shooting people. Me smoking it probably saved his life because I'm pretty sure he got 145 by a sheriff. After that, I'm pretty much just playing off my teammate ramp here, just making sure I can back them up. One, One enemy remaining. Mid. My cypher closes out the round, putting us up 4-0. Oh. 
going into the next round and this time i'm leaning towards middle gotta stay true to the nomadic lifestyle i thought to smoke right here towards middle because as a smoke player i always want to be playing around my smokes people's attention spans are so bad nowadays that people hardly ever want to wait out a smoke by simply smoking it and holding it, you're putting yourself in a good position to get some free picks. Pushing through a smoke blindly always opens you up to a billion off angles. So you, the person that's holding it, is mostly always going to be at an advantage. Just be aware of a pop flash. So since I was playing towards mid off the start, I keep the rest of my three stars in my pocket. The second I hear activity, I quickly place them. I like keeping most of my stars in my pocket and using them reactively because the cooldown can really screw you over. If you're placing three of them really early, you won't be able to do anything on the fly. Hey, make some more noise, badass. I'm sorry. So, after throwing my little temper tantrum, my boy Reyna closes it out for us, putting us up 5 0. Going into the next round, I'm right back towards middle. I have an inkling feeling that they might try B with the KJ ultimate, but since I trust my sky, I want to secure middle. Okay. Tori, you want to fight B main? I'm setting her up to do essentially what I did the second round, and that's deny B main control. She ends up not needing my second all because she's the GOAT. Um, nope. I guess I don't need it. Oh, you needed it? Oh, I'm sorry. I was shooting somebody. You're good. Round boils down into a 2v1 where I literally do nothing. Starting off the next round, now I'm leaning towards B with the same idea that I have for pistol round and the round where I stopped the ramp push. Considering they have a killjoy ultimate, I'm leaning towards B because that's the safest bet. But I want you to pay attention to how reactive I am with my stars. I don't use them until I have a good idea on what's going on. Ah. Second thing. Joke's over! You're dead! dead. The, the second that I see a breach stun hit Be Heaven, I instantly hit him with the smoke and suck combo, completely denying Be Heaven control. Smoke paired with the suck is a great counter to almost any push. The smoke denies map control, while the suck keeps him from capitalizing off the utility that they used. Oh, they're spinning out there. Spike Since I'm under the impression that they're hitting A and I don't have any stars left, I toss this wall that pretty much replicates the smokes right here. Sheesh. I'm having so. Sheesh. One enemy remains. You're yes, sir. I got really lucky that my quick strafe to take cover here kept me from dying to the breach. After taking him out, I instantly turn around because of Ray's toss a Roomba towards the staircase earlier. And so since that's the fastest route that he can take to try to trade me, that's the angle that I commit to. You gotta condition yourself to always be ready in case somebody's trying to trade you. After that, I walk out on the b heaven guys who have their attention locked on my sky, who apparently whipped the whole clip, and I get the easiest two picks of my life. What happened to you, Tori? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I whipped really bad. Can I have your phantom? Yeah. Kudos to Lego Lover for telling the truth because I would have committed to the lie to my dying day. Anyways, for this round, I'm back towards A. Remember, it's always good to float around. This round, I'm playing passive and reactive yet again. Five minutes. Base you gun. Run. One, one trying, trying to cross. cross. Since my cypher said that one's trying to cross, I pop a smoke and jiggle for information so I can pop the smoke the second that I see him. I know it's kind of minuscule, but I think every millisecond counts. If I pop the smoke as soon as I drop it, versus when I see him, I get the most out of my smoke because it'll last longer from his POV. W flank. Everybody nice, bro. He's holding the judge in front. Nice. Nice. One enemy remaining. Oh my god. Wait, I've seen this before. This is my favorite Maxi yeah. video. He's coming across. Make my fucking day, guy. Make my day. I like your aiming style. Oh and the enemy was oh my God, he made his day, he made his day. Ah. <laughs> you see my aiming stuff? Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's like mine. You, you like, like how, how he also has, has no bitches? bitches? But better. <laughs> he doesn't? I get no bitches now. What, what's your peak, Astro? Eight. Checking the situation. What? Eight. Eight? Off your feet! Yeah. No, I'm still pulling them in! Valorant. 
Yeah, if I select the main. What's your RR? Your RR peak. Now, now you're fucking. Oh. Now you're leaderboard. After being glazed by these two immortal players, I end up losing a pretty ugly gunfight, which is pretty comically timed. But doesn't matter because Ghost Tori saves the day. To be honest, I'm not really sure of my exact RR peak, because I do remember at the height of my grind, I had two accounts in the top 100. But Curry also always has like two accounts in the top 10, so it's hardly impressive, you can't really add them up like that. Next round, I head towards ramp to set myself up to counter in case if they want to make a play for ramp control. I love tucking behind this box, tucking for my flash or a stun, getting a timing on the dude that's rushing, and then using my smoke to escape. This is a pretty good example on how trying to use your Astro Stars preemptively can go bad. I tried to predict an A rush, but they ended up going B. So that leaves me with only one smoke to help out my B players. Turns out my team goes crazy, so they didn't even need my suck combo after all. I pop my smoke mid to deny the map control towards middle, and then I hold for a lurk since I still got two guys alive and kicking towards B, and I get a pick Griff wrap for me. My sky gets the last pick, and that puts us up 10-0. So since I still haven't spotted my play towards A ramp, I'm going there again just in case if they want to rush A. At this point, nothing's really working for them, so I'm banking off a desperate, just tilted A rush. I watched a Lego movie like a fucking nerd. I heard the Lego movie was good though. In Spike down, down B. Hold. Spike. Who is he? Cross, 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 two cross. cross. Then I'll flash this. See? Flash. See? Die, another Maxi Dome video. So going into the next round, since my reads haven't really been on point, I'm going right back to playing smart and reactive instead. Joke's over! You're dead! Mm. Here for help! Oh. Watch your yummy kill me. Oh my god. Yeah, that's on B. He's on. Oh, dick out. Covering it. Your Phoenix is throwing. Yeah, right Cypher is uh, playing CCTV. Mom's a bitch, bro. Spawn right now. You're pretty soft. One enemy remaining. Live, live, live from, from your mama's crib. crib. Sheesh. <laughs> Everybody got flanked. Oh, you can see him like walk up to Nike. Heaven. Okay, five again. Ready? Three, two, one. Ready? I'm watching myself. I really want to point out my positioning here. I held the safest angle possible here because my goal wasn't to get a kill. My main goal here was info and prioritizing staying alive and keeping man advantage. If I position myself too wide right here, I leave myself open to a 50-50, which can turn into like a 10-90 split if they swing in tandem with each other. Whereas here, I'm only planning on taking a single shot and then just falling back. Coincidentally, I'm pretty dope, so I ended up getting the kill anyways, but even if it didn't happen, my life is more important because we're in a 3v2 and want to keep it that way. After that, my friend Tori hooks me up with a guy to your flash so i want to give her a shout out for being such a sick teammate go follow her on twitch bro this game's taking too long we gotta hurry where do you want to go it's the fastest way to i'll send you off wherever you want awesome. middle bro and more you want left or right smoked yeah, surprise me going astro guys <laughs> if you're gonna do that let's just try to split a i'm gonna go with benson i would look up with my boy hassan over there nom 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 spooky dokey or chokey he just players. ate the arena just ate my ass. Come right here with the dog. Hey, me just going. Oh, okay, there's like three in there. There's another one, I'm pretty sure. I don't feel safe going there. There goes my fucking oh, six KD. I killed him! I got mine though. What a psycho! He's screen ramp. Long story short, the round ends with Tori putting the team on her back. Nice. Nice. Uh, Attackers win. Out of here. Oh, good game, guys. I'm gonna go to bed. Like, no one cares. <laughs> yeah, I <well>, know that. <laughs> and that's how you carry on Astra. This is gonna be today's code word for a chance of free coaching.